Well, obviously, I'm ecstatic that we uh, not only got the win, but finally got some goal to to go our way tonight. So I was really, really uh, proud overall of the effort that the, the team had. And uh, they seem to be a lot more focused with the things that we've been trying to improve on over the last couple of weeks uh, with them. So overall, I, I couldn't have been happier. You know, I think the early goal from Rachel really set the tone for us, which was great. And, uh, and then to get that second goal, you know, that Amber got in the second half really gave you a little bit of breathing room. And uh, and then it was, you know, a third really good goal there by Katie coming in as well. So just overall a good performance and proud. I, I thought um, personally somebody that's probably not going to get a lot of recognition uh, from you guys, but I thought who was outstanding was Cammy Previtt at right back. I thought it was amazing the job she did tonight for us there, being thrown into a, a new spot. And, uh, you know, um, I thought she was fantastic. So. Describe the relief when Rachel scores. Well, unfortunately, as a coach, I mean, I'm relieved for the moment that we're we're in the lead. But I thought at that time, to be honest with you, the first half, I thought we were still playing a little lackadaisical in the back with not having enough speed of play and intensity. So I knew one goal may not do it. We've been in there before, so it was just you know it was a momentary relief to actually get the goal since we've been struggling to get a goal over the last games. Or, but um, but I knew there was a long way to go. I knew that the second one was going to be the important one for us. So relief, but short-lived on the relief, knowing that we still had a, a lot of the game left. A few mistakes aside in the first half, it was a pretty uh, possessed kind of performance. I mean, everybody seemed very up for it. Was that uh, in indicative of what you saw in practice this week? Or? Yeah, you know, and I think the one thing, Hal, that for all of our fans and things, I know it's it's tough when we struggle and it's tough when we don't get the results and, um, you know, we can all say the things that we want to say about it. But the one thing that I will say for the team is they've been, every week they still continue to believe, I think I shared that with you the other day, is they continue to fight and the practice level has still been high and the intensity has been good and I thought it was a, another good week this week. Uh, preparation for them. I thought the staff uh, did a really good job in preparing a good game plan uh, for Portland. And um, so um, I, that part I haven't had any qualms with. You know, they, they've continued to believe and fight in the locker room with each other and with the staff has still been good. We, you know, so even in rough times where it may be perceived outside that everything's going south on you, um, the team itself has, has stayed together. So I'm I can tell you right now, there's a locker room of uh, a lot of happy faces because you know we we worked so hard to kind of get back into this. So now it's enjoy it tonight, and uh, like I told them after the game, let's let's enjoy it tonight because it's been a long time coming. Shut out and a win, I think. Shut out since Sky Blue early, and then getting three goals since the opening game of the season, I think. So uh, it's been a long time coming, but then we got to start our focus on Chicago because I think it's a game we can. We can go up and, and nip a win away on the road, so we got to get focused on them next week. Candy did stand out today. I mean, she's she's played and trained at center back and in the midfield. At what point did you start to think of using her as a, as a right back this week? What drove that? Well, a couple of things. You know, one with Steph Oaks. You know, we've played her back there a few times last year before she got hurt, and, and then up in the game last week with Sky Blue, I tried her up there, and I just felt like. The decisions that come down to it with Cammy is we feel like she needs to be on the field because she's so good in the air, especially too, and and just her um, growth and her presence. She she deserves the time. And the hard part with her is we've been training her at center back, we've been training her at center midfield, but then what do you do with Amber if you play her in there? You know, last week we tried to move Amber a little bit more in an attacking role, and and we didn't quite like the look of that one. And and then center back, it's. Well, then what do you do with the two center backs you have if you play her there? So trying to figure out the best way to get her on the field. And obviously, Steph is much more comfortable playing up front. And so this week, we just made the decision, let's put her right back and see how she does with it. And uh, it gets her on the field. <coughs> Excuse me. And it gives us a chance to, when we bring Steph on, to get her into a position that she's much more comfortable playing. So, uh, and I thought, I agree, I thought she was great. So what was the team mentality going into the second half? Well, I think they all agreed when we got in the locker room that it still wasn't good enough. You know, there was still a lot of talk and a lot of chatter in the locker room about, you know, finishing it out. We have to be better in these parts of the fields on some of the things that we've discussed tactically that we needed to do. And, uh, and the key going in was everybody was really focused on trying to get the second goal. You know, make sure we didn't give anything but um, to focus on getting that second goal because I think we all 
you know, when you've not scored a goal in, in, in you know, the last few games and, and things haven't found your way, you, you just kind of, you don't want the players just expecting that something bad is going to happen, you know, and I think there's still a little bit of nervousness about that. So uh, it was good uh, that Amber got the next goal and, and uh, Becca played a, a great second ball in there on, on her goal. And, and so I think that really, I think at that time you could sense for the players it felt like they had it, had it won. Uh, second week in a row, you played Kivia in midfield out wide. Yeah. She had quite an effect tonight. Yeah, yeah. she was quite good tonight. Gave her the chance to get the ball a little deeper, turn yeah. and run at people, put yeah. service into the box, yeah. which she sort of did a lot last year as well. Do you right. feel like that's her best spot out wide? Well, I, I think, more? you know, when we have all of our players out, you know, we, when, when you got Carly and you got Morgan and Andressa and, and Amber and, and Denise, it's kind of like you don't really need her in midfield, so you, you play her up front. But you go to a three front when you do that. And, and I do think she's better in a wider position. But I felt like we're not having these national team kids here. In order for us to control the game a little better, we can't play with three. I don't feel like, you know, since we've lost so much there. So we just felt like playing with four was better. And we kind of shaped it up with her wide in one area and Mel wide in the other a little bit, uh, you know, with Denise sitting in between and then Amber kind of covering from behind. And I think it fits her really well because one thing it does is it gives her a little space to get turned and get going. I, I thought she was really good tonight. I mean, their left back, every time she turned the ball, I mean, the, the poor girl was, you know, taking the task. And, and Kay really could get past her at will tonight. And uh, so I thought, yeah, I thought she also had a, had a really good game. And it was nice to see her get rewarded for that to get a goal, too, at the end. So I think that's important because all attacking players, you don't want to, it's like that baseball player that's trying to get the hit after they've been in a slump. So I think she really needed that one as well. But she was she was very good tonight too. And she'll do the other thing is she'll do the work defensively. That's the other piece of that is she's quite willing to to play both ways. And sometimes getting forwards to play both ways is is pulling teeth for some of the others at times.